Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of John Matrix Talks Movies. If this is your first time visiting the channel, please hit subscribe to catch future videos from me. Today, Star Wars and the Super Bowl is not a marriage, it's not happening, it is over. No Star Wars at the Super Bowl. The big loser here is not the Rams, it's not the Patriots, it's Star Wars. Now, according to Deadline, Disney and Lucasfilm have decided not to show any footage of Star Wars Episode 9 in a Super Bowl spot. Now, these spots are going for, I believe, a little over $5 million for a 30 second spot. Now, I'm willing to bet that there will be Captain Marvel spot and there will also probably be an Avengers Endgame spot. Now, why wouldn't they want to show this? when the whole world is watching the biggest sporting event of the year, all eyes are going to be on the Super Bowl, And the majority of all of the Star Wars fans are here in the United States. The Super Bowl is going to be viewed by the majority of people in the United States. So I'm thinking, man, that is the perfect storm to show the fans something to kind of bring them back from what was The Last Jedi and that disaster. But no, and apparently, I think it really has to do with a timing issue. Star Wars Episode Nine does not come out for another 10 months. So I guess in Lucasfilm and Disney's eyes, they have more than enough time to market this movie without spending $5 million on a 30 second spot. Now, under normal circumstances, I understand that. But right now, the Star Wars brand, the name, is in a very, very difficult spot right now. It is not that popular, it is on the way down. Can the franchise still make money? Of course they can. And I think Star Wars Episode 9 will turn a profit. I still don't think it's going to crack a billion, but to really maximize on that profit, you have to put money into it. So I would have put a 30 second teaser just lo using Luke's voice. Don't use anybody else. Don't use Ray. Don't use Finn. Don't use Kylo Ren. Nobody cares about those characters people still care about Luke. That's why we're so passionate about the way he was disrespected in the last Jedi in the last Jedi. So if you have Luke saying something like it's not over, I'm still in the fight, you know, getting people hyped, people may say, wow, that's not the Luke that I remember from the last Jedi. This may interest me in coming back to the franchise. But Luke has to be the key to any kind of marketing for this film, I believe. Now, will Disney and Lucasfilm use him? Probably not that much. I doubt that because we know that Luke is going to be a force ghost and they're probably going to save pretty much everything, you know, for the movie for him. So I think it's a mistake. The largest audience is going to be watching this. That was a perfect time to tell the fans. Hey, we're sorry. This is what we have for you. And then at the end of the 30 second spot, bam, the title reveal. That's what I would have done. And people would have been talking about the title reveal for, for weeks. And they probably would get hyped for a trailer. But now that this news has happened, I don't think we're going to get a full trailer now until Star Wars Celebration in April. So that's another about three months away now we will get a full trailer possibly it could be a teaser but I think that's going to be a full trailer so I think it's a mistake still what do you think do you think it's a mistake that Star Wars Episode 9 will have no marketing in the Super Bowl I really do let me know what you think and we may actually agree on this but 
Let me know what you think about all this in the comments. If you're new here to the channel, please hit subscribe to catch future videos from me and we will catch you on the next video. John Matrix out.